Good evening to you. How are you? I'm, uh, it's good to be with you. It's Bob and I'm with you, of course, because it's Thursday night and it's the 11th. <laughs> Legs 11. 11th of June. Rolling on 10 days. It'll be the shortest day. Then we'll be heading towards the winter. So, uh, so there we are. So, uh, release of things in England. Um, no release or no change of anything in Scotland at the moment. And, uh, Mr. Sturgeon's quite adamant about that. We still have to be two two metres apart, just over six feet. Um, we had tea in the garden this afternoon, um, following social distancing with uh, my sister-in-law and Colin, and uh, it was really bloody cold. It was freezing, I have to say. Um, here we are, flaming June, well, flaming cold. How are you finding the weather? Is it nice where you are? That's the question. I once saw two octopuses that looked exactly the same. They must have been identical twins. And uh, yes, what did the painter do when he got cold? He put on another coat. Oh, you know, he did it down by the sea. He was a Bay City roller. Roller, paint, paint roller. I don't want to gloss over that too much, really, if I'm totally honest. Okay, got to sandpaper it to you. Um, that's enough of that. My friend claims that he can print a gun using his 3D printer, but I'm not impressed because I've had a Canon printer for years. So today's been an uh, interesting old day and uh, good things going on. A bit of praying, a bit of walking, a bit of letter writing, a bit of posting bit of drinking, drinking tea, quite a lot of phoning. Um, it's interesting, I think I said yesterday, that people are definitely feeling a bit down. There's no doubt about that whatsoever. And uh, they're not feeling it. Yeah, they're just, feel, they're just feeling down. And I think I would probably count myself among that, actually. Um, yeah, so the sort of day when you think, hmm, so what have I got to do today then? I mean, plenty to do. Plenty to do. Oh! Talking of that, British Telecom. I told you on Monday it had gone down, Tuesday they fixed it. Yesterday the broadband was up and down. It was going from 2 MBP or whatever it is, megabips or pegabips or mbips or whatever it was, going from 2 to 37. And so I rang and said, this is not good. So today an engineer came and... Uh, he told me, and if you live in, live in the street, live in Kelso, that they're rewiring everything so that, you know, we're soon going to have this new incredibly fast fibre. Um, it's a two-year project, they're three months into it. Um, but then we could be up to something like 200 megs, 300 megs. I mean, incredibly fast. But they've been doing some work, and that's probably why the broadband went down. Uh, anyhow, he came and fiddled around with my socket, as you do. He's the first person in our house, I think. Um, since about March, so it was quite interesting. So I socially distanced while he came and I had to move my filing cabinet. I wish I'd socially distanced from the stuff I found behind it. It was a bit embarrassing, but um, I mean, nothing, you know, the stuff wasn't embarrassing. It was just the amount of, um, of doggy do that was there, really just rubbish that had fallen down the back. So anyway, we got that going and the old um, internet is running a bit quicker. I rang them, I didn't go online, so I rang uh, the first time I got through very quickly, 0800 800 150. Uh, first time I got through very quickly. Second time, it did take about 15 minutes of hanging on, but they were highly efficient, highly efficient. But you know, it's a fact of life. Change is inevitable, except, of course, from a vending machine. And um, you know something, a day without sunshine? Well, it's nice, isn't it? Obviously. I like this those who laugh last think slowest. Hmm, that's very interesting, isn't it? Those who laugh last think slowest. A fine is a tax for doing wrong. A tax is a fine for doing well. well I wonder whether we're going to be paying more tax as we come out of um, come out of lockdown. Well, will we ever come out of lockdown? But uh, you know. All these, these people have been furloughed and all these things. And you know, there's this big debate going on now about the economy versus health. Um, 
I don't think there's a discussion. I prefer to be broke and have my loved ones around me rather than be rich and have them dead. If I'm completely honest, I know that's maybe a bit um, straight down the line, but that, that is how I feel. Um, oh, by the way, what does it sound like when a nut sneezes? Cashew! Cashew! Yes, yes, that's uh, not not the funniest thing. I like these things that we sense. The 50-50-90 rule. Anytime you have a 50-50 chance of getting something right, there's a 90% probability you'll get it wrong. Mm. I swear, I've never really... Um, Never really heard of the 50-50-90 rule, have you? No. I would have thought 50-50-90 was 45-45. But, uh, but there, there we are. Um, nothing is foolproof to a sufficiently talented fool. Mm. Give a man a fish and he'll eat for a day, teach a man to fish, and he will sit all day on a boat drinking beer. That could be a woman as well, by the way. I'm just reading off reading off the script here. Um, yes. So, God gave you toes as a device for finding furniture in the dark. And if you were watching Millionaire this week, who, which toy company was it that produced um, specially thickened soles on slippers? to prevent you hurting your feet when you stand on their toys. It was Lego, of course. And I always remember, um, this person might be listening, so uh, many years ago, um, a girl spoke to me and she said, you know, Bob, I've been dumped. May he stand on Lego when he goes to have a wee in the middle of the night? And I thought that was a very, very funny, very funny, a very funny comment. May he stand on Lego or a three pin plug that's lying up the way i think that's a pretty nasty thing as well I keep looking up because i've forgotten to set my clock down here i've got a little clock on the top of the screen but it's the same color as the screen so i have to peer at it through my bifocals those are, that means there's three lenses in there by the way and i can't find one of them right would you like a bit of poetry i thought you might um this is this is about betjeman and it's called The Subaltern's Love Song. Doesn't need much talking about, really. Miss J. Hunter Dunn, Miss J. Hunter Dunn, furnished and burnished by Aldershot's son. What strenuous singles we played after tea. We in the tournament, you against me. Love 30, love 40, oh, weakness of joy, the speed of a swallow, the grace of a boy. With carefulness, carelessness, gaily you won. I'm weak from your loveliness, Joan Hunter Dunn. Miss Joan Hunter Dunn, Miss Joan Hunter Dunn, how mad am I and how glad you have won. The warm handled hacket, racket is back in its press, but my shock headed victor, she loves me no less. Her father's unanimous shines as we walk and swings past the summer house buried in talk. The cool the veranda that welcomes us all to the six o'clock news and a lime juice and gin. Sorry, that welcomes us in to the six o'clock news and a lime juice and gin. The scent of the conifers, the sound of the bath, the view from my bedroom of moss-dappled path. As I struggle with double-end evening tie and we dance at the golf club, my victor and I. On the floor of her bedroom lie blazer and shorts and the cream-coloured walls are be trophied with sports. And westering questioning settles the sun on your low leaded window, Miss jo Joan Hunter Dunn. The hillman is waiting, the lights in the hall, the pictures of Egypt are bright on the wall. My sweet, I'm standing beside the oak, beside the oak stair, and, there's l and there on the landings, the lights on your hair. Oh. By roads not adopted, by woodland ways, she drove to the club in the light summer haze. Into nine o'clock Camberley, heavy with bells and mushroomy, pine woody, evergreen smells. Miss Joan Hunter Dunn, Miss Joan Hunter Dunn, I can hear from the car park the dance has begun. Oh, full Surrey twilight importunate a band. Oh, strongly adorable tennis girl's hand. Oh. Around us are rovers and Austins afar. Above us, the intimate roof of the car. And here on my right is the girl of my choice. 
the tilt of her nose and the chime of her voice. And the scent of her rap and the words never said, onimus, onimus, dancing ahead. We sat in the car park till 20 to 1, and now I'm engaged to Miss Joan Hunter Dunn. Ah, lovely bit of Betjeman. I do like Betjeman, it grows on me, grows on me. And uh, yeah, really good stuff. So here we go, Thursday. Um, as I said, I felt a bit down today, and quite a few other people did. I'm not sure why, no reason for it, and I think that's one of the things about lock lockdown. Someday you feel up, someday you feel down, and uh, that's okay, just got to be you. Just got to be you, because you are the best, and you are very special. Why did the whale cross the road to get to the other tide? Where'd you weigh a whale? At a railway station. And um, I can't think of any more. You know, I lost my memory after getting hit on the head by a boomerang. But don't worry, it's coming back now. Right. I've had this sent to me by the... Uh, it's from the Contemplative Monk. But it was sent to me by the same lady who sent me the Mr. Cadbury and Bertie Bassett poem. But I've read this one in advance. And I really like it. So I'm going to do this as a blessing after I say this. So wherever you are tonight and however you're feeling, I pray that watch thou, dear Lord, with those who wake or watch or weep tonight and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend your sick ones, Lord Christ. Rest your weary ones and bless your dying ones. Soothe your suffering ones. Pity your afflicted ones. Shield your joyous ones. Love your snoring ones. And all for your love's sake. Amen. And this is this lovely blessing that I've been sent. It's a Celtic one. May the strength of the wind and the light of the sun, the softness of the rain and the mystery of the moon, reach you and fill you. May beauty delight you and happiness uplift you. May wonder fulfill you and love surround you. May your step be steady and your arm be strong. May your heart be peaceful and your word be true. May you seek to learn. May you learn to live. May you live to love. And may you love always. Amen indeed. You know, it really annoys me when people say that age is just a number. Age is clearly a word. <laughs>